Tom Paine said that in the monarchies, the king is law, but in the democracies, the law is king. That is the principle at stake in America today. The President of the United States and all of us who seek and attain public office are nothing but the servants of the people and the servants of the law. And the moment that we forget that and we begin to act like the masters of the people and the masters of the law, then we put our jobs at risk. If the gentleman from Florida is so convinced that the Mueller report offers complete total exoneration of the president, why doesn't he want the Congress and the American people to see it? Well, he says the Attorney General has only redacted 8% of the report. Madam Chair, you could redact 8% of the Constitution of the United States and get rid of freedom of the speech, freedom of the press, religious freedom, equal protection, and due process. You, you wouldn't have enough room to get rid of Article One of the Constitution, which is, I know what some would like to do today, um, but Article One is the provision of the Constitution that establishes the powers of Congress, the lawmaking branch, the branch of the people. The president's sole job, primary job after being commander in chief is to take care that the laws are faithfully executed, not circumvented, not defied, and not violated. Now, Madam Chair, I think we need to remark how far this president has lowered our country. First, they destroy the norms and the values of society, things that we'd always taken for granted. You don't mock people with disabilities. Men don't mock women's bodies on television. You don't ridicule people and give them obnoxious nicknames, at least after you graduate from the third grade. You don't falsely accuse other political leaders of treason. You don't accuse other political leaders' parents of assassinating President Kennedy. You don't use disgusting, profane language to disparage other countries. And you don't call neo-Nazis and Klansmen very fine people. You don't give aid and comfort to the dictators of the world, like Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin, by flattering them and being their sycophants. But then you just... Diktatori, diktatori. No, on, on naziva diktatora Vladimira Putina, znači. Vladimir Putin, diktator. Kako je on diktator, kada je, kad je 45 miliona Rusa glasalo za njega. Kako, kako je on diktator. Evo vidiš kako, pri, kako je ovo razmišljanje. Uh, I sad, pa sve da je diktator, di, diktator. 45 miliona glasalo Rusa. Pa ti, znači ti će da promini svijest Rusa. On je za tebe je diktator, ili misliš da je diktator? A za Rusi nije diktator. Možda je za 1, 2, 3 miliona razmišljaju, ili 4 ili 5 miliona razmišljaju drugačije. Ali 45 miliona je glasalo sad na zadnjim izborima za, za, Rus, za Putina. I za njega je diktator. Ja vidiš kako ovaj sijem, u ovaj sijem mržnju, totalnu mržnju. Idemo dalje, idemo dalje. Destroy the norms and the values of your office. You call the press the enemy of the people. You call true facts fake news, and you call fake news true facts. You vilify and you demonize the hardworking employees of the Department of Justice and the FBI. You accuse them of being part of a fantasy deep state conspiracy just for doing their job. You falsely claim that millions of people voted illegally while you deny and dismiss the finding of special... And you are working for deep state. Your speech is speech for deep state. You are deep state. You are deep state. Council Muller, that there was a sweeping and systematic campaign to disrupt our elections in 2016. You refuse to divest yourself of your business interests or to put them in a blind trust as other presidents have done. You travel to your own business properties and hotels on government expense. You double initiation fees to Mar-a-Lago. You turn the government of the United States into a money-making operation for your family, for your business, and for yourself. And then you violate and undermine the laws of the United States. You sabotage the Affordable Care Act. 
to try to deny millions of people access to their health care. You separate children from their parents at the border. You pull out of the Paris Climate Agreement, making our country an international environmental pariah and outlaw state. You lie about what science has shown about climate change. You call it a Chinese hoax. You collect millions of dollars from foreign princes and kings and governments in violation of Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8 of the Constitution. And now the president, aided and abetted by the Attorney General, tears at the very fabric of our Constitution. He orders that a curtain be pulled down over the executive branch. He says there will be no cooperation with the lawful demands of Congress for information. Congress shouldn't be looking anymore, the President King declares. This is all. It's done. No tax returns. No Mueller report. No witnesses. Not Don McGahn. Not John Gore. The president declares himself above and beyond the law. The Supreme Court has re repeatedly stated that it is an essential and integral aspect of our power under Article I to do fact-finding investigations for the people. James Madison said, knowledge will forever govern ignorance, and those who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power that knowledge gives. The people through the Constitution gave us that power. We must exercise it. If you act with contempt for the people in Congress, we will find you in contempt of the people and of Congress. And I support the resolution. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. For what purposes did